in everything we do at Choice, we stay true to our purpose and our vision. And our purpose is to unlock the power of consumers. And our vision is for Australians to be the most savvy and active consumers in the world. Tonight we're going to salute the champions, the undisputed number one heavy arts in the art categories as diverse as TV brands to retail establishments, from washing machines to online saving accounts. In all of these fields, Choice has got down and dirty and their members have also let their thoughts be known. And soon the number one contenders will stride the stage covered in glory. Before we get to our winners for 2011, however, please join me in welcoming to the stage the CEO of Choice. A big round of applause, please, Nick Stace. Thank you very much, Adam, and it's a great pleasure to welcome you all here tonight to the 2011 uh, Choice Awards. Um, it's a great pleasure in the sense that the reason why we put these awards on is so that on behalf of Australian consumers, we can recognise and reward the very best individuals, the very best organisations that have made a real difference to consumers over the last 12 months. To determine tonight's winners, the process is being driven by independent member surveys and data analysis. The compilation process is careful and, and a considered one with significant involvement with the senior management team of choice. Leading into the last quarter of the financial year, you are probably hoping that this evening would be one where you would be avoiding the auditors. However, if you have any questions in relation to the verification process, please come and say hello to me on table four. I am an auditor and that was a joke. It's a, uh, hey, don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> the Choice Awards is more one of those, hear your name, woo-hoo, finger in the air, who's number one, bang it on up here. <laughs> smiley, smiley, clicky, clicky, chatty, chatty, then head back to your table, at which stage you can pash anyone you like the look of <laughs> as far as we are concerned. I've always said that your choice awards is your key to tonsil hockey pleasure, but only after you have it in your hot little hag. Our first award this evening is best TV brand. And the winner is Samsung. Congratulations, TPG. And the winner is NAB. And the winner is Canada Bay Council. Yeah. I would like to give the 2011 Consumer Champion Award to Adam Brimo. Yes, I did collect around 15,000 uh, stories from people, and I produced a report uh, with a lot of customer feedback, and I sent that to Vodafone, the ACCC, and um, ACCN had a lot of involvement with that as well. And their reaction initially was pretty much saying everything's okay, but then in late February they came out, and they actually acknowledged all of the problems that I had said in the report. They also confirmed my thesis in the report, which is that their fast growth and low investment led to those problems. And now they've brought forward a billion dollars worth of investment and hired 300 call center staff. So it took them a long time to get into this problem and might take them some time to get out, but it looks like it made a bit of a difference. So I'm very pleased to present the inaugural Choice Consumer Champion Award for Lifetime Achievement to Dennis Nelthorpe. And what was your most unlikely win in the consumer movement? Uh, when we took on a multinational thinking it would be a three-week political protest only to find ourselves against an army of QCs, the biggest law firm in the country, in a nine-month hearing, and at the end of which we managed to persuade the company, amongst other things, to put two and a half million dollars in a bank account, call it the Consumer Law Centre and give it to me. <laughs> and, and the winner by a country mile is eBay. I'm very passionate about washing machines and I'm very, very proud to receive this award tonight. Brings us to our final award for the evening, the best retail establishment. Bunnings! Uh... Congratulations Bunnings and to all our winners in the second half. Thank you Ingrid.
Can we please have another round of applause for our Consumer Champion Lifetime Award winner and all the finalists and winners in that second half of the evening.